What kind of leader would you say is Jalen Milrow, and how has he responded in practice? Uh, vocal leader. Uh, he leads by example. He, uh, he also uh, talks in the locker room, uh, encouraging everybody. Being able to talk to those guys are key because, you know, we got a lot of gun, uh, young guys on the uh, team now, and just being that voice in the locker room is very important. Can you take us through your mindset on the final drive, basically closing out the game, and then uh, maybe, and then obviously on the, uh, two drives earlier, getting the touchdown? Uh, we were in the huddle, and uh, coach said, you know, don't give him the ball back. Protect the football, uh, protect the quarterback. You know, we do have to throw the ball, but uh, my mentality was just, shoot, let's, let's run the ball, man. Let's be a dog. Go do what you do. You've been here a lot. You've been in a lot of crowded running back rooms. What do you tell Justice and, and Richard, you know, kind of being young guys in this group to, about waiting their turn? Uh, keep competing. You know, we go out each and every Tuesday, Wednesday. Those are our most physical days. Uh, compete. Like I said, um, those guys are great guys. Um, they do the right thing. They own off the field, school work. Everything is all combined together and tell them, hey, whenever the time comes, it, it comes, you know. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter who's on the field. They, those guys can go out and play right now if they have to, and uh, they know what to do. Hey, Rodell, how does Tommy react? Tommy Reese react when you guys are dealing with some adversity on offense? Uh, he keeps a level head. Uh, whenever things not going the, the way it's planned, uh, he keeps a level head. He encourages us. Uh, he fixes things whenever they need to be fixed, and he makes adjustments the way they need to be made. Yeah, how can success in the in the running game and you guys improving that regard help success in the passing game? Uh, balance. Uh, you know, we got a lot of great guys up front. Uh, the running back room is loaded. Uh, any one of those guys can play. Uh, the receiver room, that's some special guys out there. Speed, uh, great hands out there uh, with Jagori, um, Jermaine, Isaiah. All those guys are just elite athletes, and uh, we can just keep it balanced, you know. You talked about guys waiting their turn, but for you, how rewarding was it to have the performance you did on Saturday and to be the guy that was trusted at the end to have the ball in his hand? Uh, it was a blessing. Uh, like you said, uh, the opportunity came, and it was just I had the mentality just to go out and had to do what I had to do. Uh, we were, of course, it was 10 to 3 at the time, and uh, the mindset was just go out and win. Milk the clock, do what we had to do, win the game. Yeah, what would you describe as Jalen's strengths as a, as a football player? Uh, I would say he's uh, he's I'll, I'll say he's balanced, uh, dual threat. Uh, mentally, he's there. Physically, he's there. Strong, fast, has a strong arm. Um, just overall, he knows what he needs to do. He's he stays in the um, meeting rooms extra. He knows what he needs to do. All those guys do. Hey, Rodell. Uh, thanks for being here. Um, have you, uh, who's faster, you or Jalen? <laughs> Jalen. All right. Um, secondly, what's, what's the mindset of this room right now, uh, of the offensive room? I mean, the, because clearly, I mean, you guys haven't played your best game yet. Mm -hmm. What's the mindset of, of that room? I know you guys had a team meeting. You guys don't want to talk about that. That's your guys' stuff. But what's, like, the mindset right now? Uh, just to go out and play our game. You know, we go out and play the game. Uh, it's very important to us that we go out and do what we need to do. Um, winning is most important. Uh, but all of us, if we do everything, our jobs the right way, I mean, we, we are a great team, you know? And uh, that's what we emphasize the most is being balanced and uh, being able to just execute on everything that we need to do. What do you remember about going against a Pete Golden defense in practice these last several years? And what are you expecting challenge-wise this Saturday? Uh, just, it's kind of like the, i say it's probably the same defense. Um, but um, uh, just being ready for anything, you know, he's a, he was a, he's a great defense coordinator, and we whatever he throws at us, we'll be ready for it, you know.